Welcome back to our silencer series. Today we're on the 100 yard range looking at the 300 blackout out of a 9 inch barrel. So let's see how it shoots. First, supersonic. Now, supersonic with the silencer. Now if you use subsonic. All right, we're at the 100 yard range and we have the camera about 30 yards away from the bench. 300 blackout. Three hundred blackout, supersonic, three rounds, unsuppressed, obviously. Same ammo, supersonic, but now suppressed. Two hundred twenty grain, subsonic ammo. So that concludes the shooting portion of the video. Now, in our previous video with the 308 bolt gun, you'll notice that the 308 was significantly quieter. Now, it's shooting the same bullet, and the velocity is the same coming out of the barrel. So why exactly is the 300 blackout louder than the 308 bolt gun? With the bolt gun, all you get is the sound of the firing pin drop, and then whatever the silencer doesn't capture. Uh, with an AR platform like this, you have the sound of the action cycling with every single shot. So every shot, you know, you're getting all that. And you're getting all the escaping gases that are coming out the side here. Uh, so it just makes more noise. It's still, I would definitely say, sub, with subsonic especially, it's still hearing safe. Yes, absolutely. Um, but it's not nearly as just deathly quiet as a three-way bull gun. So... A really cool thing about the 300 Blackout, the cartridge was essentially built to be suppressed. Uh, one of the major advantages is the fact that you can shoot it supersonic and it still has a lot of the major advantages that a 30 cal does, uh, particularly the heavy weight over a 5.56. And with 300 Blackout, unlike many, many cartridges in semi-autos, you can run this suppressed, unsuppressed, supersonic, subsonic, doesn't matter, it, it'll work. Uh, 556, if you try to run subsonic ammo, it's not going to cycle. And that's particularly important, especially with the short barrels. 556 yeah. can oh, be yeah. really finicky, even with supersonic ammo. Yeah. With this one, I went with a uh, AAC 9 inch barrel because they were big in designing it. It's their cartridge. Yeah. They stole it. But, <laughs> yeah. but uh, so I wanted to make sure it works. And yeah. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, one more really fun fact. Oh, yeah. The 300 Blackout is actually very reminiscent to another cartridge. So if you're big fans of Battlefield 1, like we both are, mm -hmm. the Ribe Roles 1918 fired an 8 by 35 millimeter cartridge. This is actually 762 by 35. That's damn close. Um, very, very close. Just a, a neat little tidbit um, that this is basically the, the predecessor to that experimental cartridge. Yeah pretty cool so if you like this video hit the like button if you want to see more because we do have more coming up in this series yes. uh, hit yeah. that subscribe button until then see you next time thanks again